Welcome to the Packard Academy. I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. In this session, we're going to talk about electronically commutated motors, ECMs in short. Now with ECMs, they've been out for a little while, but we're starting to see more and more of them used in the OEM equipment. And there are also more and more demands for those as replacements. Now with ECMs, some of them are used in axial fans, such as this. Some of them are used in blowers. Now there's a big difference between the effect of the performance of a blower when I change static pressure versus the effect of the performance of a fan blade, of an axial fan, when I change static pressure. So static pressure, when added to a blower, has just the opposite effect than what's adding static pressure to a fan blade has. As a result of that, the ECMs are designed differently. For fan blades, typically the ECM is going to be designed as a constant speed motor. That is, the speed of that motor is going to remain the same as conditions change. So as my static conditions change, that motor is going to maintain its same rated speed to a certain extent. If static becomes too high or too low, then all bets are off. With a blower, there are two types of ECMs that are used with those. One type is a constant airflow. The constant airflow, as that static condition changes, is going to adjust its speed. It is a true variable speed motor. It is designed, it is programmed as a variable speed motor for specific furnaces. And as that static changes, that unit will change its speed. But there is a second type of ECM that is used with blowers. That type is called a constant torque motor. The constant torque motor will maintain a set amount of torque as my static conditions change. Again, within certain ranges, within certain limits of that. So the constant torque motor is a motor that is available off the shelf as a replacement. The constant airflow motor has to come from the OEM. It is programmed for a very specific furnace or air handler. Now on the ECs, they're designed differently than a standard PSC motor. A PSC motor is identified as an induction motor. What that refers to is the rotor that is inside that particular motor. The induction rotor, as I energize my stator, and my stator becomes an electromagnet, I induce a magnetic field inside the rotor. On an ECM, it's not an induction motor. With the rotor, it is a permanent magnet. It is already a magnet. I do not need to induce a magnetic field inside the rotor. It is already a pretty strong magnet. As a result of that, that particular motor has greater efficiency than what the induction motor does. The EC motor can be used to replace an induction motor in the case of a PSC blower motor. So a constant torque EC is suitable as a replacement. And why would you do that? You would do that because of the efficiencies that you gain, because of the variability of performance, the improved performance that you see with the EC product. So the thing to remember, there are different types of ECs. 
There are constant speed ECs. There are replacements off the shelf for the refrigeration constant speed motors. For the OEM air conditioning systems, those are designed specifically for a condensing unit and will have to come from the OEM. And then there are also blower motors, which come in the terms, or excuse me, come in the form of a constant airflow with a blower or a constant torque motor used with a blower. The constant torque motors are readily available off the shelf to replace OEM EC constant torques, but they can also be used to replace induction motors. Thanks for joining us for this session of the Packard Academy. Hope to see you again soon.